Hello everyone, this is Debbie Henderson from Debbie's Designs. I'm going to give it a little, a uh, couple seconds here for everybody to chime in and get ready for class. Okay, we're going to get started. So tonight is my Designs with Debbie class where I'm hosting this every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, tonight we're going to be creating a braided card. I did list all of the supplies that you guys needed and you also needed to print one of the patterns um, that I listed. I had a link on there for you guys and you'll notice that I have the word copy on mine because I use this one to photocopy from so that I don't, um, don't lose all of the patterns that I'm going to need. Hi Julie, hi Carol, hi Lauren. So nice to see you guys. Okay, so these are two pages that I've already started using. So the first thing you're going to do is we need to cut one of these. And you'll notice where the lines end. We need to cut straight across to those lines because that's our measuring tool. And then you're going to cut directly on the black line going across. So once we're done with this, it's easier to just discard it and not use it again and then use a fresh one. So that's why I have a copy. Hi, Barb. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Sandy. It's not snowing yet. It's supposed, it's, it's really weird. They're telling us anywhere from two inches to 24 inches. So we have no idea what's coming. It's going to be a surprise when we wake up in the morning. Okay, let's go over some of the cardstock pieces in case you're just here watching. So I'm using Wisteria Wonder 8.5 by 5.5. Another Wisteria Scrap, and that's going to be to uh, cut out my die cut butterfly. Basic Black, 5.25 by 3.25. Soft Sky, 5 by 3. This is the white for the inside, which measures um, four by five and a quarter. And then we're also gonna need a whisper white piece for stamping. And you also needed two paper clips. If you don't have them, that's fine. We can still go without them. So the first thing, oh, let me go over the inks first too. Basic Black, Wisteria Wonder, and Wild Wasabi. I forgot I was listing all the supplies here. I need to keep going. I'm using the Butterfly Basic stamp set tonight, but you guys can use any um, anything you want that's similar. So I'm using the Fern, the Butterfly, and then the two sentiments. We also need stamping dimensionals, pearl jewels, and then these are the two dies that I use. Now this one here is a little finicky for me. So I use a piece of cardboard that I wrote shim on, and you'll see how I use that when I bring my big shot out. Okay, now I think we're ready to get started. So the first thing we're going to do, with everyone following along, hi Fran, we're going to score at four and a quarter. And for those of you watching, remember that this is a class and people are following along that are creating. So I go a little bit slower just so everybody can catch up. Hi Pam. Hi Fran. I love that stamp set too. You can see that it's quite stained. I use it a lot. Okay, so once you have your score line in place, we're going to use the bone folder. And this is where this was important to cut up to the lines on each side because this measures the same size as your card base. And you're going to secure both ends with a paper clip. If you don't have a paper clip, just make sure you hold on tight. Now, all of these lines that you see here, we need to cut those. And when you cut those, they need to be cut all the way to the end of the line. Hi, Faith. So we're going to go ahead and start cutting. 
If you guys don't have the paper snips that Stamping Up has in the catalog, you're missing a lot, um, a lot because these, like I'm going straight down and then I snip to the end and that's it. These cut very well. I have like four pairs. And I think I have two extras set aside that I haven't used yet. Of course I use them in my classes too, but... Oh, my hubby's watching again tonight. Hello, honey, to you too. Hi, Brianna. Hi, Peggy. Okay, so I have all of mine cut, as you can see. And some of you have probably made this card before, but it'll be a little bit of a refresher for you. I'm going to let you catch up. So as you can see, these are all cut. So that's why I say when you're done with this, you can just throw it away and then just make a couple photocopies from the sheet that I gave you. That way you'll always have some on hand. Okay, I'm just going to give you a couple more seconds to um, catch up to this step. Are a lot of you guys just watching tonight or is somebody actually stamping? I know Lauren usually stamps with me. Okay, now the first step we're going to do is the V down below that's in this direction, the up direction. We need to cut that one off. And you'll understand why once I, I show you how to do this. It does not, it's not complicated at all, Kathy. You, you'll be surprised how this goes. Oh, hi, Lauren. Glad you're stamping. Okay. Now that we have this hole all cut out, the next one above it, you're going to pop it out, fold it down, and press with your bone folder. And you need to tuck it under this little V right here. See how it holds it in place? And we're going to do that with each one of these. So pull, fold, and tuck. And I just use these tools just to help me. So we have five of these. And make sure you push down as far as it'll go so that it'll be tucked under the V right there. See, Kathy, I told you this was easy. So this is number four. And you don't even need to add any glue to these. They will stay in place once you have them folded and tucked. You've never done that? Oh, Pam, you've done it before, but it's been a long time. Okay, now, the reason we cut the one on the bottom is because if we were to fold this one, it, oh, it would overextend. But we have a hole up here, and we need to cover that hole. That's where this piece is going to come in handy. You're going to add glue just to the, t the tops of each side. And then, oh, it fell on the floor. Here we go. You're just gonna, whoops, flip it upside down. You're going to tuck it under and then glue it to the very top. So see how that finishes the whole look of the braid? Hi, Leanne. It's so funny to hear you say you're on your lunch break. Leanne's from Australia. Totally different time zone. Okay, now you're going to fold this over and using your bone folder, just press. And there's your braid. How easy was that? Okay, now we're going to glue the basic black. I have two of these snails beside me because this one's almost out and I want to try to use it till it runs out. So we'll glue the basic black in place. 
and then we'll get ready to stamp on the soft sky and the whisper white that's going to go on the inside. I didn't show you the inside. I did stamp on that also just to match the front. And we're going to bring in the uh, wild wasabi ink and the fern. Okay, I'm just gonna wait a couple seconds to let everybody catch up. So is anybody else forecasted for snow out there in the east? Like I said, we're being forecasted two to 24 inches. So it's going to be a surprise as to what we get tonight. And it's supposed to go all the way till Friday morning. So, but we're in Maine, we're used to it. So, okay, now we're going to stamp the fern. I'm going to start with the soft sky piece. Stamp this fully. And without re-inking, I'm going to do a second one. So see how that gives you that light and dark variation on the ink? The next one I'm going to do the same way, but I'm going to bring it down some. So there's the four ferns on the blue. I'm going to do the same thing on the white but I wanted to leave a little bit of room there for uh, if anybody wants to write. So I'm going to go a little bit lower on the white piece. So let's go about two inches. One, two. And then keep going lower. One, two, and three. Isn't that neat? I like doing the, uh, the second image without re-inking. It just looks pretty. Now for the inside, we're going to bring in the Wisteria ink. Yes, Faith, I agree that it's winter. We, we're used to it here in Maine, so even hearing 24 inches, that's not a big deal to me. Okay, I'm hoping everybody is caught up. I'm also going to bring in the basic black. So let's do the butterfly that goes inside the card first. And then we need another one that we're going to cut out with the big shot. So I'll stamp that up here. And then I'm going to add the sentiment. The sentiments are all in black. And I thought it would be neat to add it right here instead of adding it up top. I like to be different sometimes. So that's for the inside of the card. The one in the front is going to be stamped on my scrap white. And I'm going to go as far down the bottom as I can. I love that font. Okay, I'm just going to bring in my paper cutter to cut the sentiment. So I'm just going to go um, close to the top. Okay, so there's that. Now let me clear my counter so I can cut out my butterflies. I'm going to bring the big shot in. So that's it for stamping. It's really quick. Hi, Linda, that you're not late. You can always review this later. It'll be up as soon as I'm done, um, I'm done with the class. Okay, the first one I've got is the butterfly. Okay, and I need to go get one of my clear plates. Hold on. I used it for class yesterday. My stuff is not where it's supposed to be. This is probably going to go off the camera. My iPad is right close handy by. Okay, this is my first butterfly. Now this is my finicky one. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but not all big shots are the same. 
some um, apply more pressure than others. So if you have a die that is not cutting well, just cut a piece of the designer paper cardboard and I just use that on top of all my layers. It just gives it a little bit more pressure. And see how it just automatically popped out. If I did this without the cardboard, it didn't even cut all the way through. So now I'm just going to bring in my little die brush just to get the rest of the pieces out. And there's my butterfly. Okay, now we're in business to do the rest. So I'm going to uh, glue the soft sky layer using stamping dimensionals. And I know some of you guys might not have the same stamp set or die set, but anything close will work. If you don't want to do butterflies, you can do your own card. And again, I would love to see what you make. You guys can add um, in the comments section. I also wanted to thank everybody that's been sharing my post. I've seen a lot more traffic on my Facebook page and it's all because of you. I can't get this one off. Well, before I glue that in place, I wanted to add my sentiment because I'm going to have to trim it. And that's just going to go on the bottom about a quarter of an inch spacing right there. And let me trim that. Okay, now I can glue this in place. So you can see if you have the same size cardstock, you can create any type of scenery in here. It doesn't have to be a butterfly. Okay, now I'm going to bring in, I'm going to use the little skinny strips right here for my butterfly. So that's going to go right here. And then I'm gluing the stamped one uh, just flat on top of that one. Okay, now I'm going to bring in the pearl jewels. Look how I did the body. I started with a large, medium, small. I like the way that looks. So I thought I'll do the same thing on this one. Oh, you have the precision base, Sandy. I, I don't have that one. I don't know, I wasn't impressed with it when I saw it in, at convention. Um, do you think it works pretty good? Okay, so I'm just going to add a couple on the sentiment layer. This card was way too quick tonight, isn't it? Okay, that's it for tonight's card. How quick is that? So I would love to see what you guys come up with. I hope you'll share in the comments section. If you guys would like to share and you don't know how, just private message me and I'll walk you through it. So this is the, oops, I didn't glue the inside, so I guess I'm not done. I was going to show you the inside. You know what, too? I think I cut that one. Yeah, I cut that one way too large. I didn't give you the right measurement. This would be the same measurement as the black, so let me cut that down. So that one should have actually been three and a quarter inches wide. I forgot that the inside was a lot skinnier on this because of the braid. So it still works. I just cut off some of the fern to get it in there. I think I gave you the right measurement on, on the post. So anyway, that's the inside and this is the outside. Very easy card. It looks intimidating, but it's not. I hope you guys liked it and I hope you'll try it. So I will see you. I won't have another class until next Wednesday. 
And just to let you know, my daughter is due to have her baby next week. So if something happens that I can't be here, I'll make sure I post ahead of time. As soon as I know anyway. So thanks for dropping in tonight. Have a good night.